Look at uh, Buregor at the 15th hole. Got himself 189 yards. This is seven iron. Had a poor day yesterday. Trying to fight back this morning. And bend it straight in. Never touch the green. That's a nice eagle, too. Go along with the birdie. He's two under for the day. Back to even par. Look at Spirit Guard here. The drive up the right at 16. A lot of guys missed this left yesterday off the tee. He's got away with one there, and that will be very good from Lucas Bergard. <laughs> when it's your day, it's your day. You're going up and out of that one quickly. sink at all this morning but he's, he's doing all right I mean he's, he's not he's not hit that how he wanted but it's somehow fumbled up close to the hole he's a couple under for the round but it's uh, it doesn't bode well for turning into the wind up the first Gore for birdie he's having a very good opening nine that one slides by but it's a Two under par 34 for last week's winner. Picked up his second win at the Alfred Dunhill Links Championship. Eurogard from 60 odd yards at the first. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. Very good. Very elegant, the way he sets up to the golf ball. Absolutely classic. And he absolutely pounds it off the tee. Hits a country mile, as they say in the United States, which is longer than the city mile, apparently. <coughs> yes, but only in America. Good chance to sneak into the red numbers. It might not be a good measuring device to use Buregor as a... Uh, Okay, you can reach this green in two. He uh, really gets it out there. A great eagle attempt, an easy birdie for last week's winner for the Alfred Dunhill Links Championship. Trouble off the tee for Lucas Burigor. That's his third, so uh, well recovered. Should be able to save his par. This man would love to be in the list of Scandinavian winners. The birch is shedding everything they've got to shed, except the green stuff. Spiragard on the fifth, wind off the right, pin front right. Middle right, rather. Oh, and a beautiful shot by Spiragard. He's been got some wonderful shots today. A couple of iffy ones which have gone close. Spiragard, also a terrific tee shot. And a birdie. And this group certainly have brought this hole to its knees. Yeah, Lucas Barrigo is four under today. He's uh, flying along. And here we see Lucas Beargard. He banged one down here yesterday onto the front of the green. He's giving it another go. That's okay there. That's sitting okay.
67, that seems to be a score you enjoy shooting when it's really windy out there. Yeah, today was a lot better. Uh, I think last week hit me a little bit yesterday. I think, uh, you know, I was busy a few days and maybe didn't manage my, my time quite well enough. So yesterday wasn't great, made some silly mistakes and just felt like my head was really... Um, wasn't uh, where it was supposed to be, um, but a lot better today. And uh, yeah, it all it all started on 15 when I uh, hold a seven iron slam dunk. I've never done that before, uh, and it kind of started there. And uh, yeah, it was back nine especially. I made some good up and downs, but uh, but hit some solid shots as well. After the hole out, you didn't drop a shot. What was the key? Uh, my chipping was a lot better. Um, Yesterday, I think yeah, I don't think I got up and up and down once. Uh, today, I, I made some good saves uh, when I was in trouble and and stuff. So um, yeah, mainly mainly short game. Didn't didn't putt great, uh, but it's tough when greens are this fast and it's this windy. I, I really struggle with that. Because it was really windy when you won in Scotland. Very windy again today. Why do you think your game suits this test of golf? I don't know. I've always enjoyed it, uh, probably more so than when it's uh, you know 25 degrees and no wind at all. Uh, I, I enjoy this where you have to be a bit creative and and really grind it out and uh, you know, yeah, I just I just enjoy it. Um, even though it's very cold at seven o'clock this morning. Given the conditions, do you think that score is going to be pretty good come the end of play today? Yeah, it's tough out there. Uh, you know, I'm I'm happy with the round today. Uh, obviously, yesterday wasn't quite what I was looking for, but uh, really happy with the round today. And and hopefully, I won't be too far back uh, for the weekend. To watch another European Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.